Before we continue with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon to always know when the next video is up. There will be more amazing videos and playlists in the description below and in the cards above. And don't forget to check out my Patreon account when you can help support the channel so we can get more action figure reviews at a timely manner. Now let's continue with the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Lobojo.Doku and today we have another SH Figure Arts KO review and this time it's Hulk from Infinity War. Now, at first glance there's a couple of big differences on this figure that I want to show you guys. So, taking a look at him, the first thing that I notice is of course the color and the finish is not correct. So this green from the chest is actually close to the original but everything else just as like a like uh, glossy finish while the original is very matte and gotta say of course the original looks a lot better I just don't like the glossy finish at all but otherwise the figure itself looks pretty much the same except for articulations now articulations there's clearly some problems now especially in the waist area so this joint just seems to be too far apart and creates easily a gap and this joint here is also constantly popping off and that creates this mess here I don't know if with some heat I can fix that but I'll definitely try. Another thing is some of these joints here also too separated but I saw a way to fix it with again applying some heat to fix and put the joint closer together like this one. This one is actually good. This one too far apart. Uh, but overall the detail and shading is there so kudos there and the faces are well done. Speaking of faces we have that angry face Got this kind of normal board face and angry face and of course the yelling face. All of the faces are really well done, very close to the original, I would say almost perfect. Again, except for the, of course the paint job. And then besides the fist hands we have two pose hands and again they have that glossy finish. Now I've seen again a fix to this that I'm probably going to do later on because otherwise the figure except again for the loose joints looks cool it, it is not a bad KO at all if it wasn't for this this mess here Fingers get in there and have a good old rub -a -dub. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball joint on the head, pops off very easy to exchange the heads, and gives you great range of motion. The neck itself, uh, I believe, is also in a ball joint, and it is very limited because of all of this structure. Then we have a butterfly joint on both the soldiers. This one is a lot tighter than this one, but they are decent enough. I believe we have a ball joint to ball hinge system here. Plus, it to great adjustment. And uh, you can definitely rotate the arm however you want. And then we have a double hinged elbow. Very tight. Again, this one is a little bit loose, but I can fix it. I believe so. And hands are also on. Ball joints that are easy to fix. They are ball joint to ball joint. Now this, this here is part that is terrible because it is a ball joint that connects to that little part there and then here a ball joint that connects to this part and then we have a hinge there that allows it to crunch but when you crunch both of these sections kind of get out of place and they just expose a lot of the torso I hope I can at least this part fix a bit uh, but it does allow you to rotate and adjust well enough but it is again very loose then we have this 
hinges here for the legs. That's a good, decent spread. Uh, I believe both are then hinged. Low kick forward, not a kick back because. Uh, and then we have a thigh swivel on both sides. This one is tighter. Double hinge knee, not that much range of motion. Ball hinge on the foot allows you to pivot. And you have a toe bend. The articulation is very good overall. Now he is a very big figure. So let's look at his size. Oh yes. SH figure as Infinity War Thanos KO. SH figure as Infinity War Iron Man Mark 50 Nano Weapon Set KO. SH Figure Arts Cowboy Bebop Spike Spiegel. And finally, Figma ReZero Ram. So while searching for defects, I found this huge part here. Now I think this may be able to be fixed. If it, if I manage to fix it, I will definitely leave it in the comment section below. And maybe I'll post an image of the corrected part. Now this figure definitely I'm going to do a video later on with some fixes. Due to a lot of the problems with the articulations, I'm not going to give it my low budget otaku seal of approval, but I'm not going to bash the figure too hard. It is a very cheap figure compared to the original, and it can be a replacement if you really need one, and uh, you cannot afford to pay an overpriced original if the original starts being overpriced. Right now, I think the original can still be found at decent prices, and I do think with some custom work this figure can be greatly improved. So I'll let you decide by yourself if it is a decent figure or not. Check out the description where you can find more information about the figure and more amazing playlists full of reviews just like this that you can view. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell icon. See you next time. Just do it!